Hello there, Jerome here from Jerome Fitness. In this short video series, I show some of the stretches that you can do if you belong to the super stiff. So if you cannot reach your toes at all, and if you're not even close to it, then you definitely belong to the super stiff. Let's start with the quadriceps. Now, the most common stretch for the quadriceps that I recommend beginners is this one. However, if you are super stiff, then perhaps it is uncomfortable or you would have to adjust way too much in order to get a good stretch without having pain. So what you do is you will grab a towel or a t-shirt, whatever, and simply place it over your ankle like this and then you can stand and pull as hard as you need in order to feel slight tension. Now you shouldn't feel any pain, but you should feel some tension. This is more difficult if you don't have a lot of balance, so in that case simply stand against the wall like this or you can simply stand on one foot like I'm doing right now and you can pull further if you want to get a better stretch. So this is a great modification for those who are super stiff and do not and cannot do a regular standing quadriceps stretch. So that's the first, first exercise. Then let's go on to the inner thigh. Uh, you, normally you would go down deeper if you are a little bit more flexible, but if you are not flexible at all, stand in a stance slightly wider than shoulder width and then simply lean towards one side until you feel tension. Now personally I don't feel any tension with this at all, but if you're not flexible then you can definitely feel some tension in the inner thigh. A very common hip stretch is the following, the lunge stretch where you lean backwards and put some tension on your hips, but you can also do this in a very easy variation which is suitable for the very beginner. Stand with your leg about this distance apart and then lean forward with your front leg like this so that your hind leg is slightly stretched and then if you lean backwards you will actually feel tension in your hips. So you can do this and you can even turn to one side, decide that you are not stretching and that will also increase the stretch which is a way to increase the intensity when, sh when you are getting more advanced. Like that. The hamstrings are a problem area for a lot of people and there are a lot of hamstring stretching exercises but one of the most easy variations that you also have most control over is the following. So like with the hip stretch you will stand with your legs about this far, far apart and then you will point your toes upward of the front leg. So do that and then keep your leg straight, the front leg completely straight and then simply lean forward to the toes. Now uh, the further you go towards the toes the more tension is on the hamstrings. But obviously if you are not stretched, not flexible at all then you won't be able to go as far down as you would if you are more flexible. Then what you need is something like a wall. Place your hands on it and then put one leg behind and also make sure that your foot is flat on the floor and that your hind leg is completely straight. Then lean forward and you will have a very good calf stretch. Now again, make sure that it does not hurt. It can be uncomfortable, but this uncomfortable feeling should fade away within 20 seconds. And last but not least, the glutes, where you simply lay down on the floor. Run, get rid of your phone. Then last but not least, a glute exercise. Put your one leg on top of the knee of the other with your leg bent and then raise your calves like this until you feel tension in your glutes. Now you can place your leg, your foot closer towards your butt to get a better stretch or if you are getting more advanced simply grab in the knee and behind the knee actually and then pull it towards your chest. So those are some stretches that you can do if you are super stiff and it can actually help you to be a actual beginner rather than a complete super stiff beginner. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, subscribe for more thumbs up and check out the next video. And
So those are some stretches that you can do if you are super stiff. Now obviously within about a month you won't be super stiff anymore and if you do then make sure to check out the second video which I will upload next month. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, subscribe for more thumbs up and I'll see you next time.